Hey everyone, White Rice here with a tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset your Samsung Smart TV and then reconnect that TV to a VPN in order to accept the terms and conditions. This is for people who live outside the United States but bought a US model of a Samsung Smart TV. Now what you're going to need for this video is the old school Samsung remote with the digits on it, one through zero. Because if you have this remote, unfortunately you're not going to be able to perform the factory reset. So if you don't have this remote, try to borrow one or go look online. They're not too expensive. All right. Also, I'm going to be showing how to do this using a Windows 10 computer. My computer has two different network cards, a LAN wired connection and a wireless Wi-Fi connection. So you're going to need to have at least two LAN cards. You can have two Wi-Fi's two LANs or one of each in order to do this. And then you're going to use a Windscribe VPN and share that VPN connection with your TV over Wi-Fi. And that will allow you to connect that TV through the United States and then accept the terms and conditions in order to unlock the smart features of your Samsung Smart TV. If you get stuck or have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm an IT guy by trade, so hopefully I'll be able to answer your questions. Otherwise, here's the instructions and good luck. Okay, so the first step is gonna be step zero and it's only required if you've ever connected your smart TV to an international internet connection and tried to accept the terms and conditions. If you've done that, you're gonna need a factory reset and there's a particular way to turn on your TV in order to factory reset it. So with this old school remote, like I mentioned before, you need to perform mute one eight, two, and then the power button while pointed at the TV. And when it turns on, it's going to bring up a special menu. Now with older models of the TV, you might actually have to hit info menu mute power to get into this menu. Now, if the little taskbar at the bottom shows up with all the apps, simply just hit the home button and that'll take away the uh, application menu. Now, you see the option is already highlighted. Hit the OK button between all those arrows and you'll see that the factory reset is the default choice there. Go ahead and hit the OK button again. And once you do it, there's no going back. This is going to factory reset your TV. So anything you've done to it up until this point, like your uh, color settings, that's all going to be gone. So as you can see, as it comes back on here, it's going to launch into the original out of the box demo mode. Okay, so at this point, let's treat this TV like you just took it out of the box. For everybody who didn't have to factory reset, this is step one. Step one, basically, you're going to do everything except connect your TV to Wi Fi. In fact, just to streamline everything, I highly recommend just skipping as many of the setup options as it'll let you and you may have to select somewhere on the screen that you'd like to skip the step. Like you can see on the screen, I do not want you to connect to your Wi-Fi here. If you connect to a non-VPN Wi-Fi, basically what you're going to do is lock out your TV and you won't be able to accept the terms and conditions without going back to step zero again and doing your factory reset. So now that you've skipped through your setup, let's go ahead and take a break and look over at our computer for a second. Now step two is going to be to get off of your wireless connection and get onto a wired connection. So go ahead and disconnect from the wireless and go for your Cat6 cable and plug that into your wired connection here. I realize that if you're disconnecting from wireless, you may need to reload this video, so take a second to do that. And then go ahead and launch your VPN app. Like I said, I'm using Winscribe. It gives you two gigabytes of free data transfer where you can pay for a better package. Right now I have 1.6 gigabytes left of data to use which should be more than enough to download what we need for the terms and conditions. So go ahead and get yourself a VPN service launched and we'll move on to step three. Now just in case you're not a tech savvy person the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to uh, basically confirm whether or not you're connected to the VPN or whether you're still routing all of your internet traffic through the local overseas network. So go ahead and launch your Google or your favorite search engine or just go to what is my 
ipaddress.com. And once you go to this website, it's going to show you exactly where you're connecting from. So just down below here, you can see my IP is connected through Sasebo, Nagasaki, Japan. That is not where I want to be. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the VPN. Now, I picked best location and it put me through Canada. I'm not sure if Canada will work for this scenario. So I just recommend using Atlanta. Okay, so now you can see I've got the pop-up. I'm connected through Atlanta. How can we verify that we're connected through Atlanta and that our traffic is going through the United States? Go back to your internet browser and basically just refresh this page and it should quickly show you that, look, now we're connected through Atlanta, Georgia in the United States. So from here on out, at least our computer is gonna be routing all of our traffic through the United States. Now that our VPN is connected, step three is gonna to be to share that VPN connection with your TV by serving up a hotspot on your Windows 10 computer. So hit the start menu and type the word hotspot or just hot and click on this hotspot settings. If you don't see it, you may need to update to the latest version of Windows 10. So over on the left side, you actually see an option for mobile hotspot. So go ahead and click on mobile hotspot. Now the first thing you should notice is that it says a couple of things, but under share my internet connection from, you should see your network name there, and that's from your wired connection. So we wanna share that with other devices. So when you click on that radio button there, share my internet connection with other devices will allow you to host a hotspot from your computer and allow for other devices, not just your smart TV, but your other devices to connect to the workstation. So you can see here, I've already created the network name, Samsung Smart. I've set a really easy to enter password because you're gonna have to enter that password from a remote control. So make it really easy. Even just eight A's would be enough. And to make sure that your connection is hosted, you see this little network button down here? If you click on it, it pops up a menu and you should see a blue background there, zero out of eight connections to Samsung Smart. What that means is now your computer is open and hosting a hotspot for other devices to connect to via Wi-Fi. Now that you've got your hotspot set up, you'll notice here that there's zero of eight devices connected. That's fine, you don't want anything connected yet. We need to check something else first. So right click on this network icon by the system clock there and left click open network and internet settings. In this new window, you're gonna left click on the change adapter options. Now this will bring up some new information here with a lot of connections that you currently have. What I want you to pay attention to here is this local connection for, yours might be a different number, but it will say Microsoft Wi-Fi Direct Virtual Adapter. That is your hotspot and that's being shared for any device in your house that is close enough to connect to the wireless. Next to it, you'll see the connection Winscribe VPN. That's the connection we need to make sure we share because that's connected in the United States. So go ahead and right click and then click the properties followed by the sharing tab there. And you'll see that right now, by default, it already is set to allow other users. And it has through the local area connection for the Wi-Fi connection for our hotspot. If what you're displaying in the home networking connection matches the Microsoft Wi-Fi direct virtual adapter, then you're good to go and you can skip the next step. Otherwise, we're gonna go to step 4B, okay? So looking at the same window right here in the Winscribe VPN connection, you'll notice that the word shared is no longer there. It was there on the other one. You may not have seen it. So what do we need to do in order to share it? Well, once again, you need to right click on the Winscribe VPN connection, go to properties. And then once again, you're going to open the sharing tab here and see how that's unchecked you're going to go ahead and check the box there allow other network users to connect and then in the home networking connection that's where you're going to share with the connection that matches the icon over there where it says microsoft wi-fi direct virtual adapter as you can see that is local area connection 4 
And this next box here, you can check it or uncheck it. I just leave it checked because it's there by default. Click OK. And then once you've done that, you should notice the word shared appeared over there right next to the Winscribe VPN uh, Ethernet 2 connection. And so that will effectively share your VPN connection with the TV. So let's go back to the TV for step five. In step five, we need to get our TV hooked up to the wireless hotspot we created. So go to the settings option, scroll down to general, open network, and then open network settings. Here you're going to select wireless, and this is where we search for the wireless hotspot we created. At this point, be sure you do not connect to your wireless router at home, or you're going to screw it up and have to start all over again. So selecting Samsung Smart, I'm going to enter that really easy password I created. Hopefully you created an easy one, or this will take some time. And then go all the way over to Done, and this is going to reset up your TV to a wireless hotspot. However, this time, you should be connected to the hotspot that's patched into your VPN. So let's make sure on the computer here, there you go. We have one of eight devices connected, and that would be the TV. So go ahead and click OK. And now we're on to step six, that really annoying step that you might have done too early and locked your TV out. So at this point, we just need to select the terms and policy setup. So go ahead and scroll up to the setup button there. And if you want to be able to use everything, you may as well just agree to everything. So check I agree to all, click OK. Oh no, another step. Don't forget, step seven, log into your Samsung account. If you don't have a Samsung account, it's just another step in the road, but go ahead and create it and pause the video. Now that you're ready to log into your Samsung account, go ahead and sign in and click done on this prompt. And at this point you have the opportunity to add additional apps that are installed on the TV by default. Depending on how old your TV is, you may or may not have some of these, but they should be available to download from the Samsung App Store. So I'm going to put Apple TV on there and Look at that! We're ready to use the smart TV! I know some of you have probably been waiting months and months if not years to be able to use the smart TV feature. So take a deep breath, pat yourself on the back, and load up a YouTube app. You know what? This kind of makes me feel like watching, I don't know, a drone footage flying over Norway. If you have a 4K TV, it's going to be even better. This is just a 1080 32 inch TV but for me this is what I wanted so look at that Norway streaming on your TV without a Chromecast without an Apple TV it's a smart TV okay at this point you've already connected to the terms and conditions so if you want to go back into your wireless connection here and at this point you can actually disconnect from the hotspot that you created and that will allow you to connect even though you're still abroad and you're connected through a local internet service provider you'll still be able to connect to all of the features on that TV now if you're like me you might want to do some screen mirroring so if you have never done this before go ahead and launch that Apple TV app if you don't have it download it and there you go over on my iPhone 11 you can see I want to do some screen mirroring here I screen mirror to my new TV and just like that I'm streaming so you could put any app up on the smart TV that you want go nuts thanks so much for watching my tutorial I hope it worked for you and if it did I'd like to hear about it please leave me a comment also if it didn't work and you have questions feel free to also leave me a comment and as always, please subscribe to my channel and stand by for some more great content from Sasebo Japan. See you next time.